So in the previous video, I already um, talked about the programming model and I also talked a little bit about the two major programming models that is CAP and RAP. And I also make you understand what is the difference between the CAP and RAP and what the skill set is required for that. So now today I will talk about what is the under the hood of the CAP and RAP. So this is the architecture or uh, this is the layout for that CAP and RAP. And here you can see uh, that is the CDS and CDS is very important. So whenever you start uh, the CAP or RAP, um, you have to make sure that you have the basic understanding of that cap uh, of that cds because cap and rep both use that cds so here cds is the fundamental layer where the domain data are defined and it serve as the modeling language for declaring data structure and service and um, basically this layer is responsible for specifying specifying the schema and it also maintaining the relationship of the data used in the applications layer. So in the next step or um, on top of that, there is the enterprise programming uh, models and these layers provide frameworks and tools to build application, enterprise layer applications efficiently and there are some key features of that. So here you can see that is the powerful service runtime frameworks. So these frameworks support the development and execution of business service. So that means that whenever you develop any applications, it doesn't matter that what language you use, actually it's a compile that. And second one is that first class support for SAP Fury and SAP HANA. So basically it ensures that seamless integration and optimal performance with SAP UI uh, technology that is Fury and the database technology that is HANA. So whenever any programmer follow that model that means that they don't need to think about the performance yeah. because these actually come with that um, I mean that the model actually take care that all performance and other complexity and third one is the out of box implementations so that is um, there are some pre-built applications or there are pre-built implementations and template to speed up the development. So you will find some pre-built uh, templates. So if you use that, you don't need to develop again. It will definitely um, accelerate your development. And the next one is the draft support for SAP Fury app. So draft support is means that um, like um, whenever you whenever user develop whenever user um, executing something but still it is not the finalized then then it's possible that they can save as a draft you don't need to do any programming for that you just need to enable the draft support and the framework will automatically replicate the table and it will do everything for you and after that user will find the draft and you can see that it's actually everything is take, take covered by the uh, programming model so you don't need to do extra effort for that so um, creating draft versions of the uh, entities that can be finalized or review later and uh, then um, uh, the built-in extensibility capabilities so this allows customization 
and extension of the standard functionalities without disrupt the core logic so basically very important is that i mean that you can develop your own applications or you can um, you can update the existing things but actually it will not change the core business logics so it will update but actually it will not change the core business logic so that is the reason it is very important and last one is the easy to integrate because you are following the standard so if you don't follow the standard or if you don't follow the this framework then it may happen that your application is running but in the um at the end you cannot integrate with others so that's the very difficult so that's the reason those key feature actually provide with that interface programming model so it doesn't matter that you are doing the cap or wrap is the facilities for all and after that that is the um, data service and rest basically that is the middleware that um, expose service and data model as api so this layer provides powerful capabilities through udata and rest apis so it acts as a bridge between the backend services and the front-end client and other fewer applications and uh, the and the finally uh, that is the um, sap fury uh, you know that it's um, finally that fury applications or other applications actually it will consume the service so fury understand on and only the service uh, it don't understand other thing it don't understand the cds so at the end you have to prepare that service so uh, that's the reason actually that is the basement and that is the um, programming model which model you are using and after that you will make the service and finally the end user will consume that service through the sap fury and other clients or other applications so it's the kind of third party applications like for example that mobile applications and other internet applications that uh, interact with this service via udata or rest api so um, that's all about uh, that under the hood of the cap and wrap um, i think you understand properly so let's continue with the next video